Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to Paragon Software Group, where today we will be performing a walkthrough of P2V scheduled tasks for instant recovery. We will begin within the Paragon Hard Disk Manager 11 server with the virtual component installed. We will start within the full scale launcher, and first we will begin by clicking on the Wizards tab, then navigate down to the P2V copy operation. From there, the wizard will pop up and we will simply click Next. On the Browse for Source Disks screen, we will choose which basic hard disk we will be choosing to perform the P2V copy operation on. Please make sure that the basic hard disk you are choosing has a Windows operating system on it. For this example, we will choose the basic hard disk 0, then click Next. At this point in the wizard, a search for the Windows operating system will be performed on the drive selected. If the operating system is found, we will have multiple platforms to choose from. VMware Workstation, VMware ESX, Microsoft Virtual PC, Microsoft Virtual Server, Microsoft Hyper-V, and Oracle VirtualBox. For this example, we will choose VMware Workstation. From the Setting Virtual Machine Properties page, we will now have the option to set the parameters of the VMDK or the VHD we will be choosing to create the virtual environment. First, we must choose which VMware version we will be using. We also have the option to choose the name of the virtual machine, as well as the number of CPUs. For this example, we will choose VMware 7.0, two CPUs and leave the name default. Lastly, we will have the ability to change the amount of memory that the virtual machine will use. It is recommended that you only use one quarter of the amount of your maximum memory as not to impact your system. Then click Next. On the Settings Virtual Disk Properties page, we will click on the customization icon and it will then bring up the Advanced Properties menu, which will allow us to customize the VMDK or the VHD even more. We will have the option to choose the type of virtual disk, IDE, SCSI LSI Logic, or SCSI Logic SAS. For this example, we will choose SCSI LSI Logic. We also have the option to create a split disk as well as pre-allocate all disk space. We will then have the option to enlarge or shrink the size of the VMDK or VHD and then resize the partitions proportionally. Then click Close and click Next. Next, we will choose where we will be saving the virtual machine we are creating. Click Browse and choose your location. For this example, we will choose to save the virtual machine within the virtual machines folder. Then click OK and then click Next. On the next screen, we will click Finish. From this point, we will choose to save to the scheduler. At this point, a simple scheduler wizard will pop up. First, we will choose to change the task name, then choose when we would like the scheduled task to be run. For this example, we will choose weekly and then choose Monday through Friday at 9 p.m then click on the specify username and password. Next we will choose to use a specified name and password to run the task. If you choose not to specify a password, then the task can only be run when the user is logged in. Once you have input the password, you have the option to discard all operations on close. If you choose not to do that, you can simply discard all the operations after creating the scheduled task. For this example, we will run through the P2V operation. Depending upon the amount of data will depend upon the amount of time to completion. For USB 2.0 and 10100 networks, the transfer rate ranges from about 2 to 2.5 two minutes per gig, while USB 3, eSATA, and gig networks transfer data at about a gig a minute. Once the task is complete, we will then load up into the virtual machine within our desired virtual platform. For this example, we will load into the VMware Workstation 7.0 with our newly created virtual machine. This concludes our P2V walkthrough for instant recovery. For additional information including sales, or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.